You're watching the Alistair Rain, Armed Conflict Channel, covering the war on terrorism, human rights, world politics, and military events. On October 7, 2016, the U.S. Secretary of State, John Kerry, and the Minister of Foreign Affairs of the French Republic, His Excellency, John Mark Arault, met in Washington to discuss Plan B now that Russia and the Syrian regime have bombed another hospital last night. The two leaders took a few minutes to hold a press briefing before convening to their meeting. Really very happy to have our French counterpart here with us. Uh, France, of course, uh, the oldest alliance and relationship with the United States and a great friend and partner in everything that we undertake, uh, ranging from Iran nuclear agreements uh, to Africa and unrest and terrorism to the Middle East to uh, Israel-Palestine, Syria. Uh, there really isn't an issue of importance in the world today where we are not engaged in working uh, together. Uh, the Secretary of State gave comments on the recent regime attack in Aleppo. I very much appreciate France's partnership with respect to Syria and its shared, profound, deep concern about what is happening in Syria today. Uh, last night, uh, the regime attacked yet another hospital, and 20 people were killed and 100 people were wounded. And Russia and the regime owe the world more than an explanation about why they keep hitting hospitals and medical facilities and children and women. Uh, these are acts that beg for an appropriate investigation of war crimes. And those who commit these uh, would and should be held accountable for these actions. Uh, they're beyond the accidental now, way beyond, years beyond the accidental. Uh, this is a targeted strategy to terrorize civilians and to kill anybody and everybody who is in the way of their military objectives. U.S. threatens sanctions on Russia if they fail to reach a ceasefire agreement. We also need to keep the pressure up on Russia with respect to the implementation of the Minsk Agreement. And we, I think it is important for us to make it clear publicly that if we cannot implement Minsk in the next months or arrive at a clear plan, as to exactly how it is going to be implemented, which we are working on, uh, then it will be absolutely necessary to roll over the sanctions, uh, which is not our desire, but becomes the only thing left to do if we are not able to move forward. The French minister also spoke about France's part in negotiating a cessation of conflict in Syria. We have the, the two countries, the the best old allies. It's so important in many uh, so difficult situations. Yeah. My first issue is the situation in Syria. I was yesterday in, in Moscow. I met uh, Sergei Lavrov to speak with him to find a solution. You mentioned, John, uh, the President Santos. It's a very good example of a, another method as, as were uh, to find uh, a solution, it's the negotiation to find the solution to peace, for peace. And in the, in the case of Syria, uh, we have now uh, a tragedy, human tragedy. It's not unacceptable for human conscience. We have to do anything to find the solution through a new uh, ne possibility of negotiation. And uh, we prepared uh, a, a draft uh, for the Security Council. We spoke together, uh, together about this, this project. We, we continue the discussion now with this meeting, John. It's very important. An interpreter provides English voiceover. And tomorrow will be a moment of truth. 
A moment of truth for all the members of the Security Council. Do you, yes or no, want a ceasefire in Aleppo? And the question is in particular for our Russian partners, like I said and to Sergei Lavrov yesterday. So this paper we're tabling, of course, it is open for discussion, but there are two strong pillars. The first one is the ceasefire and the no-fly zone over Aleppo. And the second pillar is access for humanitarian aid. We're not giving up. Just like uh, Stefan de Mistura, the special representative um, of the United Nations, we're not giving up and we cannot accept that Aleppo will be totally destroyed by Christmas. This is the reason why I traveled to Moscow. This is the reason why I came to Washington, D.C. to see you. And I'm looking forward to continuing this discussion with you because I know, John, that we do share the same goals and the same values. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Minister, can you draft a resolution acceptable to the Russians in order to save the people of Aleppo? Subscribe to Alistair Rain YouTube channel for more news updates. Visit Alistair Rain News Blog on the web located at alistairainblog.com.